Welcome Traveller, I'm Free to Play and I'm your guide for successful free to play adventure on Osterra. Today Moen and I'll show you which units will be accessible with elite fragments eventually and what A force they bring with them. Hey free to player, perhaps you forgot to add the 4 stars awakening 4 of the Forbidden 11 in our last video. Yeah, yeah, you're right Moen. Since the last Heaven Talk we know for certain that those Forbidden 11 new 4 star units will be added with the elite fragments update. But what makes those units so elite? And is there any specific unit you should save your elite fragments for? In the video moment mentioned, we did not talk about the A4 accessories, so let's show what those Awakening 4 accessories of the Forbidden 11 are capable of, shall we? I'll start with Paula. Her A4 accessory brings a decent elemental attack and elemental defense boost and bit of speed. But what makes it really interesting is that you inflict dark defense down for 3 turns at the start of the battle, which is amazing if you pair it with Heinz A4, which will be increased to 6 turns then and will continue in turns with Wingate's A4 and will be capped to 30% dark resistance down passive, which makes a lot of enemies weak to dark a lot easier to beat them. I will take it from here. You can use Joran's accessory to extend cigarettes passive. That will extend it by two additional turns and make it up to 25% sword resistance down. If you also have Joshua's A4, you can put it on someone like Richard or Viola. When they break, they inflict seven turns, 30% sword defense down. Okay moment, that was quite impressive. I'll continue with Nars, which is almost the same as Rita's A4, which is, well, I have talked about that in this video here before, and it can be found in the bad A4 accessory section, so let's hurry to Lolo's, which is impressive because the last A4s of Hunters we will get are not good at all. It grants 30 physical attack and crit, and when breaking, it inflicts 10% bro resistance down, which can be paired with Xanta's A4 to help have a huge boost in bow damage. Both Brigitte and Ephraim are both staff users and if Square wants us to get better units for the upcoming towers like they did with Cerna the last time, my next bet would be that they release one of those two characters. Ephraim gives 15% staff damage up, which is not that great because we have Yan Long and he has already capped staff damage all by himself, but the 50 physical attack up makes up for that. Brigitte's A4 gives 10 elemental attack and speed and 500 HP on top, plus 30% status ailment resisted, which is fine I guess, but that's more of an apothecary's job, isn't that? Cornelia is an apothecary, let's see what she's capable of. Cornelia's accessory is very unique, it provides 10% uh, unconditional weakness damage up, which stands for if you have Cyrus, who has 20% fire, ice and thunder damage up, it will count to 30% if you hit that weakness. Uh, if you do not like switching uh, accessories for Cyrus or you're using Cyrus in the EX5 training tower of the scholars, it's very effective. You can also use it on any character that has 20% damage up, or basically to cap it. Whoa, that's an amazing accessory. But Levanza 4 is the one I am waiting for since ages, since I like light units a lot. Levanza 4 gives 40 elemental attack up and 10% light resistance down on break. The next Ice Scholar, Kenneth, works exactly like Sophia's A4, so you have almost capped ice resistance down at the start of the battle with both A4s, and if you break with as light in between, six rounds and Kurt's A4, the ice resistance down doesn't fade away so quickly. And with Aslai's A4, the elemental attack will be increased as long as there is an enemy with ice resistance down present. And the Thief Durant is the last unit's A4 we'll cover here, which reduces 10% speed of all enemies for 3 turns, which will increase the elemental attack when carrying Menos A4 and is ideal for a lot of speed clears where you don't want to equip lots of speed giving accessories. because Meanwhile, you have lots of other useful accessories you could equip instead now. And that's about it. Thank you Moment for helping me out here again and if you have further questions about this topic, please write them in the comments or write in my Discord group and get in contact with us. And if you'd like our channel to class up, we really appreciate a subscription and thumbs up. See you next time, you're free to play.